Crafty Friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and on this video tutorial, I'm going to show you four adorable projects that you can make using the stencil that comes in this month's uh, Craft Club box. So, uh, it's super cute. I'll show you what it looks like, and I'll show you what comes in the, in the Craft Club box. It's different every month. Usually it's going to be a stencil or something that is a one-of-a-kind deal that you can't buy regularly. And it's going to have everything that you need to make a whole project. So take a quick peek here, and then I'm going to put this stuff away, and we'll come back to it. Um, yeah, so in this month's box... Uh, We've got this adorable stencil that I've already used multiple times. It says loads of love, and it's a super cute little pickup truck with all these hearts coming out of the back. And what I want to show you is how you can use the stencil that comes in your craft club box. Uh, each month, they're going to be different, but you can use it on a lot more projects, okay? So that comes in it, and then you're going to get this surface right here. The other side of it is cream, but I'm not going to show you that just a second. Just a second. It's five by seven. You could stencil on this side. Um, it's a really nice frame. And then you get, and you can still order the January box. So if you want to get started with Craft Club, um, just say link in the comments and I'll get you a link. So you can sign up for my... Magnolia Craft Club. I would love that. Okay, so you're going to get instructions, which I think is great. This is what their completed project looks like. Uh, and then there's a video. that You can use this QR code or just type it in that shows you how to do it. And you're going to get one of these every month. And then with this one, you, you're going to always get a squeegee. Um, this month it's green. I think it was last month or the month before it was red. I can't remember. Um, and then with this one, you get two packets, two sample packets of paste. This one is raspberry color. And you guys, when you open this, just take a little snip off the corner and squeeze a little bit out onto a paper plate. And then fold it over, tape it up, and put it in a Ziploc bag because this will do multiple projects. And then you're going to get a chalk paste sample packet in black. So all for $19.99, um, plus, of course, your local sales tax. And then there's a $5 flat shipping fee. But every month, it's a new project um, with a surface, a stencil, some either chalk paste or ink, depending on what it is, and um, a squeegee and um, a lot of times there'll be doodads in it. Let me just show you these real, real quick, and then we'll move on. Because uh, I'm excited to show you what I have to show you here. Okay, so this is this month, January 2022. This is the craft. This is what you can make with the craft club. Um, this was um, November, I believe. You got this book stack. You got the jute, the beads, the little green thing, the little greenery, plus the stencils and the chalk paste. The next month, we got this cute little banner with ink. Um, and this stencil is so cute. I've used it multiple times. You got ink in two colors. Um, and I actually made this adorable Valentine's Day themed tea towel. And then the month, the very first month, we got a bunch of beads and jute and the, uh, one of these little round wood slices. And then a whole set of the fall um, and Thanksgiving and Halloween stencils, plus just everything to make it. So it's, it's a good deal every month. And, um, but that's not really what we're even talking about. I just thought I would want to show that to you real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to show you are the cute projects that I have made using this. Okay, and let's start by 
by starting a project first. Okay, this is a piece of wood that's kind of, I don't know what to even call it. It came from Walmart. It was around, gosh, I don't remember. They call it a whitewash small cutout plaque. This is what the back of it looks like. I can get a picture of that close up if anyone wants. But it was not expensive. It was three or four dollars. And we're gonna use our stencil. And I am going to fuzz it because I've been using it mostly on fabric today. Um, I'm just using my little fuzzing towel. And I'm only gonna do it once because I have used this quite a bit. And of course I labeled the back of it. And I'm gonna lay this on here. I had decided I was gonna do it this way. And we'll be letting that dry while we get started on this one right here. You're gonna absolutely die when you see this. I love to make projects that are like 3D. So, um, not completely flat in other words. I guess that's a, filling something here. Oh, it's a piece of fuzz stuck in the back of my stencil. Okay have to put my glasses on to be able to see it. Okay. Okay. Close enough. You could come back if you wanted and you could um, drill holes and do a beaded garland. Let me see if I can put my phone down a little bit better, and I hope you guys are hearing okay. If these comments right here, if you're watching this on Facebook, if they're in your way, you should be able to swipe them left or right or up or down, and they should disappear, and then you can swipe back the opposite direction to get them back. You would like to sign up for the craft club. Well, I would love to have you join my craft club. As soon as I hop off, I will get you a link. Okay, so I'm going to use chalk paste, and I already have a jar that's open. So I'm not going to use the little packet. I will save that for some time when I really need it. Okay, where is my squeegee? Okay, here's one. So this is what this looks like. It's hard to see. It's going to be so adorable. I'm just going to grab some chalk paste out of my jar. And I'm not doing the hearts. I'm doing everything else. So that's what I love about a lot of these stencils are that they are seasonal, or they can be, but you don't have to use the seasonal stuff every time. You can uh, just use bits and pieces of the stencil for all year long, if you want. Just looking closely, because I don't want to stencil something that I don't want on here. Oh my gosh, and I'm covered in strings. can't wait to show you these other projects. Stay with me. Okay, and I'm going to put my excess back into my little pot. We'll pull this off. Hope that you can see it. Oh yeah, oh it's super cute. Okay, let me go throw this over here. And this is what it looks like right now. Okay, we're good. And this could either be hung, it could be put in a little easel. I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes and we're gonna move on to this one. Okay, this is the surface that comes in the Craft Club kit. And I used gray chalk paste to do this. It has a little heart on it. I didn't do the loads of love. And I didn't do the little hearts coming out of the back because I have another idea that will make this a um, 
it will make it all year long. Okay, so my idea, and this is dry, is to make the bed full of flowers, like it's a flower truck. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some of this ribbon, burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. Uh, you could use this, or if you have something different, you could use something different, it really, it's totally up to you. Straight. Okay, and I cut it so it was a little bit longer than the bed of the truck. All right, and then, I am going to fold it in half. <laughs> I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to glue the two sides together. I might put a pin on it real quick just to hold it while I'm working on the other side. So I went to Dollar Tree yesterday and I picked up a bunch of flowers, little ones. That's what you're gonna want, are the littlest flowers that you can find. Okay, so this is basically what we have, and I'm gonna fold this over on itself and glue that down so we'll have a nice end. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Can you see? where I have folded it over so it's like we've got a little pocket. You could um, use a piece of canvas, you could use a piece of burlap, um, you could use absolutely whatever you want. Okay, so we've got our little pocket and this is gonna go over the top of the rails on the back of our truck. Oops, it's gonna go with the nice side front. And it's gonna look like just wood rails, sort of. Oh, can you guys see and imagine that at all? Okay, so let's fill this puppy up with some flowers. And these are just some of the flowers that I picked up at Dollar Tree over the last few years, but a lot of them I got yesterday. So I got these yesterday, these yesterday, all of them yesterday except for this one. And of course they're either a dollar, a dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty depending on what your dollar tree charges. Yes, the frames are reusable so you could wash this off and re-stencil it later. You could also stencil on the wood or you could paint the back of this another color and you could stencil on this side. So they're super versatile. Okay, so I've got my little pouch and let's cut some flowers off. Now we want to leave as long of a stem as we can so that we'll be able to poke it in to our little pouch. This one I'm going to use the top. So, let's see. Love this one. I might have to cut some of them a little bit shorter. Some little yellow flowers. Um, I used a couple red ones on this over one over here that I've been working on that I'll show you in a minute. When you're cutting them off the stems, leave as long of a tail as you can. And you guys, this idea, you can take this, um, Magnolia also has a big farm truck, which is really awesome, and I don't have it in here. Anyways, it's a great stencil, and you could do this exact same idea with that. But this one from this kit is just adorable, and so that's what we're using. I don't know how many flowers we're going to want, so let's just give ourselves lots of options. Okay. 
Okay, and then I need some greenery. So this is a really cute one too. Did I get this? Yeah, I did. Let's take part of this little palm fronty looking thing. And we're going to cut a few of the bottom pieces off. These, um, these florals, these faux florals from Dollar Tree are mostly just plastic. They don't really seem to have a lot of wire in them. So you can use whatever scissors you want. If it was um, like a really good floral, then use some wire clippers or something. Okay, I love this one. Let's see, how am I going to get this off? considering. I'm not going to use that one this time. Okay, and I need some other greens. Those things are too big. Okay, well we're going to say that what we have is good. All right, and we're going to start stuffing. So this is my pile of little flowers, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the other one that I made, I didn't realize this until it was too late, but I'm going to put this tall palm looking thing in the area that would be the back of the truck. So I'm just going to put some glue on this stem and poke it in here, tilt it the way I want it. Okay, and then comes the fun part of just putting the flowers in. Oh my gosh, you guys, these projects behind me are so adorable. And um, Okay, so if you watched uh, the live that I did earlier this week where we made the Valentine banner that I was giving away, look how cute that is already, um, to, I picked one person who sprinkled. That's how that was working. Well, it turned out there were two people who sprinkled who had the same name. And um, so the banner is going to go to uh, sorry I'm thinking it's going to go to the first Carolyn I think her last name was Wilson and then I made this these other two things that I'm going to send to the other Carolyn Wilson one of them was in Georgia and one of them was in Rhode Island and I was very confused this morning but now I understand what has happened and uh, anyways, I wanted to make it right for both Carolyn's who both sprinkled. And um, yeah, so that's what's going on. Okay, look how cute this is coming along. All right, let's add some white in here. And I do realize that the scale of these flowers is not completely accurate, but this is just a fun little craft project. So. I don't think we are required to have the scale be exactly right. Right? Do you guys agree? But when you go to Dollar Tree, if, if that's where you want to pick up some florals to try a project like this, you want to be looking for um, the smallest, I need to cut this shorter, the smallest flower buds that you can find. And this was the, these were the smallest ones that I could find. Okay, I'm just trying to decide where to poke these in. So stay with me. Okay, uh, somebody's asking about staining of the stencil, and yes. So when you are using a really dark colored, either chalk paste or ink, it's mostly with the inks, they can stain the front of your stencils. Um, but it doesn't hurt how well they work or anything. It just makes the fronts 
look not as pretty. So, um, let me cut this one short. So, anyways, yeah. And the best remedy, really, for that is just to get them washed as quick as you possibly can. Um, and then don't worry about a little bit of the staining. Okay. Oh, my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, here's our little flower bed. Isn't that adorable? Of course, whatever flowers you have, if you have some around the house that you can use, um, it's gonna look different depending on what you use. But I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna glue it on the back of this truck right here. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Absolutely adorable. Look how cute that is. What do you guys think? Very adorable, Martha says. Thank you. Hi, Tina. How are you doing? Are you snowy in Indiana? Um, okay, so I'm not finished. I, we're going to do this other one, and then I'm going to show you these other two projects that you got to stay with me for. But if you like this idea, of creating dimensional art, um, sprinkle, spread the love. <laughs> uh, put this video on your social media, on your Facebook page, if you want to. That um, helps me, and I would appreciate it. Okay, so there's that one, and here's the one that we just did, and here's the little floral that I was working on which I think I want to add a little bit more of this palm fronty looking stuff to the back side of it. So I just cut that a little bit shorter. And I'm going to just glue that on the back because mine is pretty much closed up. Glued, glued closed. And you won't see this part anyways. And definitely, if you're gonna do this and be pinching a piece of burlap ribbon with hot glue, definitely use low temperature because I have it all over my fingers and if it was hot, it would hurt. Okay, so here's what we did just a few minutes ago. And it says loads of love. And I'm just gonna glue this right over the top of those rails. And it is gonna be absolutely adorable. And we could come back and add a bow or something, but look how cute those are. So while the stencil itself had sort of a love or Valentine's theme, you don't have to use all of the bits of it each time. And you can usually adapt a seasonal stencil to have it be usable all year long. Okay, so let me show you the other things that I made using this stencil. And if you would like information on joining the craft club, my, my Magnolia Craft Club, um, here's how it works. Uh, it's $19.99 a month, plus sales tax, plus there's a $5 flat shipping fee. And it will come roughly on the same day that you ordered it each month. Um, it will keep coming. You don't have to reorder it each month. Um, they do ask that you stay for at least three months, and then after that, you can end it if you don't like it. But I can't. I don't think I've had anyone end it, and I can't imagine why you would. Um, but anyways, that's basically how it works. It'll be a new and different project every month, usually with an exclusive stencil, and you get everything you need for a whole project. So. That same stencil, I made this adorable tea towel to give to the other Carolyn Wilson. Is that so cute or what? 
and I used red and black ink on here, and then I used the fabric. I used the fabric glue, uh, which is Sherbonder, and I used my fabric glue gun to add the ribbon so that this whole thing will be washable, and I heat set it. So she'll be able to use this, display it, and wash it uh, in her washing machine. So look how cute that is for Valentine's Day. And then I'm also in process of making her this adorable pillow cover. And um, what I did here was I just used that same stencil and I did the truck and the hearts in red and then I did the words loads of love in black. Let me hold it up close so you can see. And then I put it on a piece of um, canvas that is cut like a heart and I used some ribbon, some lace ribbon around the edges. And then I put a piece of um, red ticking behind that. It's not finished, it's a work in progress because I want to be able to mail this out to her so that both of my Carolyn's have a fun Valentine's project. And then I added these cute little hearts down at the bottom. I may add some buttons, I'll get everything all glued on, heat set and ready to go. So. This is just showing you that the stencils that come in the craft kit each month are going to make a lot of different projects and the pastes or inks that come in them, those can make a lot of projects too. So don't, oh my gosh, look at my sweater now. Um, so don't think that what you're getting for $19.99 uh, for each month's box that it's only going to make one project because it's going to make many just depending on what you want to do. Uh, and these are the four projects that I made using the stencil out of that box. So let me know in the comments if you would like a link to join my craft club. I'd love to have you join us. Um, it's fun every month. Hey, Lisa. That is the owner of Magnolia Design Company hopping on to say so adorable and she is the one generally who designs, I don't know what percent, but like 90% of the stencils. She's super creative and quite the artist. So these were the first two ones that we did. What do you think? Cute, 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 huh? And then... This was the tea towel that I made for the second Carolyn Wilson. And this is the pillow that I'm working on for her as well. Oh my gosh, and I'm covered in, I'm covered in little pieces of canvas everywhere. So I hope that you got some good ideas and saw really and truly how versatile these are and how you can make a ton of different projects. Um, Feel free to sprinkle. Feel free to ask me any questions that you have in the comments. Um, if you have a friend who loves crafting, here's an idea. You could both sign up for my craft club and then each month you could get together to do your craft club boxes together. Or maybe you have three sisters and they all live nearby. You could all do the same thing and get together to do it in person. Or if if you're not uh, comfortable with getting together in person, you could always do it over a Zoom. And um, if you have a crafty friend or sister or mother or whatever, um, and you can't figure out what to get them for their birthday, uh, you know, or for whatever they might have coming up, consider getting them a craft club. You would just be paying for the first three months of it, and then you can decide if you want to continue on paying for them to get the craft club, or if they want to continue on, they could switch the um, craft club into their name and put it on their card so that they would be paying for it each month. But in any account, it's a fabulous deal. Um, I think m most of the time the plan is for the stencils to be exclusive to the craft club, and um, and you could do it with some friends. And it's just, I don't know, there's something therapeutic about completing a craft project. 
doing something with your hands and being able to finish it. And with the, these craft club boxes, you get everything you need to whip out a complete craft project in no time at all. So that is what I wanted to show you. I will get um, close-up pictures, because especially these, I want you to be able to see how cute these are. This one, I left the loads of love on the bottom. And if you join late, I will get a picture of the back, because this little wooden thing came from Walmart. Um, this was the surface that came in the craft club box. And I didn't do the words of love because I wanted to leave lots of room for a big truck full of flowers. Um, Sandy, I will get you the craft club information as soon as I hop off. Patty, thank you for watering. Watering is the same thing as sprinkling, which is the same thing as spreading the love, which is the same thing as putting this video on your Facebook page so that your friends and family and contacts can see these projects and follow and like my page if they want. You could use some of these ideas for Bible school, yes. Okay, Margaret says she's never used these stencils before. Uh, and I want to talk about that real quick, and then I want to talk about opting out, because I'm seeing questions coming in. Okay, these stencils are reusable many, 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 many times. They're super, super easy to wash and store back on the backing sheet. Um, I got a bunch of these stencils last year uh, for Valentine's Day in the different seasons, and then when Valentine's Day was over, I put them away, and I'm just pulling them back out. Some of my stencils I have overused a little bit, but they still work fine. Like I have a couple that I've probably used 40 or 50 times. I'm not even kidding. They look terrible, but they work just fine. Um, they have an adhesive back and they're super detailed. They're like what you use for screen printing. Um, and um, so they stick to your surface and you can use chalk paste or ink on them. And then you pull them off, wash them. They're not like the old fashioned ones of the 80s that scooched around and you had to tape them down and use a pouncer. I, I tried that back in the 80s and it was super frustrating. So they're great. And they're a great investment in your crafting closet because this could go on a t-shirt, it could go on a tote bag, it could go on any manner of sign for multiple people, it could go on a pillow, um, a tea towel, it could go on a lot of different things. Okay, and then the opting out of the craft club question, I'm gonna answer that and then I'm gonna really say goodbye. Um, okay, so they just ask, manually ask that you stay for three months. And then if you don't completely love it, then you can call them to cancel your craft club thing. But I don't think I have had anyone cancel and I, I think, I can't imagine why you would want to. I store my stencils back on top of the little um, carrier sheet that they come on. I'll show you. <laughs> Here's a good example. And then I just have them laying in a drawer. This is my Victorian pattern stencil from last year. This puppy has been used at least 40 to 50 times. It looks terrible because it's stained because I've used all kinds of different dark colored chalk paste, dark colored inks. You can see that I used a lot of orange on it. We did a ton of carrots and fun things last Easter using this stencil. We did bunnies with navy blue ink and canvas. We did a lot of different things. Anyways, it, I just have it laying on the backing, laying in a drawer. And here's one thing I'll say it also. And then I promise I really will stop talking. Um, they lose some of their stick. They just do. It's just how it is. But when you lay this down on whatever you're stenciling and press it down and you put a little bit of medium on it, it kind of re-sticks again and you're just going to hold it in place. And so it's really no big deal. Um, yeah. So this is what a very well-loved stencil can and should look like. And this was a fabulous investment in my crafting uh, stash because I've used it so many different times in so many different ways. It's called Victorian Stencil, in case you're wondering. Alrighty. Uh, 
uh, Leanne, I will send you the craft club information and I would love to have you join my craft club. Okie dokie. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'm just trying to think. Do I have anything else that's ready to go that I could come back live with today? I don't think so. Uh, I do have other projects in process, but um, anyways, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, let me know if you want a link and all that good stuff. And I'm going to go sit down on my comfy chair and read what you guys have to say. Thanks for joining.